What's going on, Freshington fam? It's your big brother, Billboard Freshington. And you're now listening to another blog episode of Just My Thoughts. And I want to touch on a topic today that I hear a lot of people, especially the older sector from the black community, talk about, about how black people used to have so much pride. It was so much more codification back during the civil rights movement. And then, you know, we hear a lot of white supremacists and other races of other people talk about this when they try to denigrate us, how they try to act like back then we had such a high moral standard, which we actually did. We really did, which is why America looked very crazy internationally during that time and versus now where we have to understand that that, there there's a there's a huge degree of social engineering that went um into that uh deconstructing of of i would say that that foundation that base within the black community i want to say and here's my question the topic of the day is was integration the downfall of the black community you know i feel like all lives matter is the new integration Trojan horse. You know, they thought that integration would work uh, on us as a generation, the younger generation, um, the generation under the civil rights generation, and it really didn't. All Lives Matter um, is their battle cry where it was this, where they, the civil rights generation felt like, you know what, your life matters, mine does too. And that was the rallying cry. It was just a little bit different. And so they thought that that playbook, because we all know that the white supremacist, the dominant white supremacist society does not change their playbook. They recycle, rinse, and reuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we know what it is, you know? And to be honest, you know, when we were forced to codify, we had... Black Wall Street, all sorts of prominent economic sectors, land on land on land on land, you know, our own banks, hospitals, etc. Um, of course, we know that this part of that social engineering to our status, uh, to our status in society today was because of them stealing, pillaging, killing, murdering, etc., etc., and then not paying it back, letting the um debt aggregate within the black communicate i'm sorry letting the debt aggregate within the black community and the wealth accumulate within the dominant white society so we understand that um there were targeted um there were there were targeted attacks when it came to that it is what it is and so we have to put all these things into perspective, which is why I wanted to really bring this up, you know. And all of these, all of these different things, the, these social engineering war tactics, I call it war tactics, uh, has put us in a position of servitude, you know. Um, because, you know, we, give, we gave up all of our independence as a community during the civil rights era integration all they wanted to do was be equal and okay i guess hypothetically by theory whatever you know i guess i see what they were trying to say to a degree but we have to keep it a milli right quick like the, the dominant white society played the super trick the the when you tell somebody to not do something trick over 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 many a lot of times where the person is like you know what what is why are they telling me to not do it i want to do it now you know what i'm saying or you deprive something tell a person they can't have over 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 i and then now the person who's been deprived now wants that it's a it's a huge psychological warfare tactic that was played on our elders, you know, not all of them, because there were a lot of individuals who were actually whooping behind, you know, back in those times. But th the knowledge wasn't super up. 
as it should have been. We're in the age of technology now, so it's a lot harder. But back then, you know, they threw in the trick bag words like minority, you know what I'm saying, to undermine the civil rights movement, uh, gender, etc. You know? And so, um, here we are. Like I said, a position of servitude, all because we want to quote unquote equality and meanwhile we're watching the things that we were that we've built that was supposed to be passed down that was supposed to create our own wealth and economic um economic gain dwindle they took they've taken away damn near all of our hospitals and banks it's a wrap and today literally i just saw um i think literally this month Wells Fargo was on the map again for being racist against black people. This is a bank. We still go through this today. And so what did we really gain by integrating is my entire message. You could treat somebody like a human being and not have to so-called be integrated because we have we see all these different communities across the nation a little italy's little brazil's chinatowns this is across the nation of course there's you know there's pockets of black communities and stuff like that you know prominent black communities you know but at the end of the day we had a lot more is what i'm saying And so now they, this brings us to here we are, you know, this brings us to date. They say history repeats itself. And here we are on the cusp of a new movement, a movement that I will, that I've coined the great awakening, the great awakening. What is the great awakening? We are seeing black people, so-called black people, because you know how I stand. We Brews, we Hebrews, we the original Hebrews, and there's all sorts of artifacts to substantiate that fact on top of other stuff, but that's a whole other subject. But we are awakening politically, spiritually, right? More of us coming back to our Hebrew heritage. We're calling out politically the buffoonery on a democratic side, especially and the Republican side, we spread in knowledge more and more. You know, and this is what it's all about. Because ultimately, when we start to just question more stuff and then we start to actually create more topics of discussions, ultimately what comes out of all of this? Solutions. Solutions. That's why people don't want us to quote unquote talk. What, what, what talking going to do? What is talking going to do? Talking sparks ideas. Dummy. But I'll leave it at that. Let me know what y'all think. Did integration, uh, sorry, was integration the downfall of the black community? Share this comment. And don't forget, there's the End Times Summit. I'm relaunching the End Times Summit, the online discussion panel for 2025 for preparation before things hit the fan. If you know, then you know. If you know anybody as herbalists, doctors, uh, or have some sort of medical background, um, you know, uh, self-defense, um, you know, uh, military background, um, farmer back, agricultural, et cetera, et cetera. Please, let's start inviting these individuals, you know what I'm saying? Relationship uh, back, relationship experts. Let's start inviting these individuals ASAP because we need to start preparing ASAP. The end is here. And with that, peace, love, repentance, and reparations, freshness and fam.